Hi, we were talking about congruency of triangles and here we'll see how can we exactly know whether two triangles are congruent or not. Now here I am given two triangles, triangle ABC on to our left and we have triangle PQR to our right. Now is there any way of finding out whether these two triangles are congruent or not? Let's see. There's an axiom which is also known as the SAS congruency condition. So the SAS congruence condition says that two triangles are congruent to one another if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides and the included angle of the second triangle. What does that mean? Let's have a look. If we were given that AB is 4 units long, BC here is 6 units long and here angle ABC measures 70 degrees. If this was given to us for triangle ABC and in triangle PQR we were given that this angle here is 70 degrees while this angle here angle Q is 40 degrees. QR, the measure of QR is 6 units and the measure of PR is 4 units. We were also given the measure of PQ. Let's say it was given as 5 units. Now let us consider these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. So I would write in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. We have to see if these two are congruent. So first of all, I know that AB is equal to PR. AB is equal to PR which is equal to 4 units each. Hence I can write this. Also I can see that BC is equal to QR. So I can write BC equal to QR. Alright. Now I have to check the included angle as per the SAS criterion. Now when I am considering AB and BC in triangle ABC that is this side AB and this side BC the included angle has to be the angle that is between these two sides and not any other angle. So AB and BC contain only angle B and hence I will only look at angle ABC. Okay. When I am considering PR and QR of triangle PQR that is this side and this side the angle that is included between these two sides is this angle PRQ. So I will consider this angle for angle for triangle PQR while I will consider angle B for triangle ABC. I see that both are equal to 70 degrees and hence are equal. So I can say angle A B C is equal to angle P R Q. Isn't that right? Now I have two sides of the two triangles as equal. One is this one. This is the second one. So A B is equal to P R. Also B C is equal to Q R. I also have the included angle that is the angle A B C here same as angle PRQ here. So I can say that these two triangles are congruent. So can I say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR? Is that okay? No, this is wrong. Although these two triangles are congruent but you have to take care of the nomenclature. So if we are writing triangle ABC on the left hand side ABC we have to see what are the corresponding vertices of triangle PQR. So A here corresponds with P because we saw that AB is equal to PR alright. But if you look at this angle at this vertex B ABC we saw that it was equal to angle PRQ this one. Hence, 
B corresponds with R and C corresponds with Q. So if you are writing A, B, C on the left hand side, on the right hand side you would have to write P, R, Q and not P, Q, R. Now this is the right way of writing it and both these two triangles are congruent to each other. Now what if in the question they had asked us to find out the measure of this particular angle, angle C or angle A, C, B. Now it's simple. Once we have proved that these two triangles are congruent to each other, I can write angle A, C, B, that is A, C, B will be equal to angle P, Q, R. Angle P, Q, R. You can also look at it in the figure. A, C, B here will be equal to P, Q, R. And why is this? Because these are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. C, P, C, T. And since these two are equal, and we know angle P, Q, R measures 40 degrees, so I can say that angle A, C, B would also measure 40 degrees. So this angle right here is nothing but 40 degrees. Similarly, we can find the length of AC. Since AC will be equal to PQ, this one would be equal to this one. Because again they are CPCT, I can say AC would also be 5 units. I hope you are clear about what the SAS criterion says. Just keep in mind that they talk about two sides and an included angle. The angle should be included. It cannot be any other angle. Let's see what I mean by that. So again, if we have these two triangles, let's call them ABC again and PQR. And I was given that AB measures 4 units, BC measures 6 units. I knew that PR measured 4 units, QR measured 6 units. Also, this particular side PQ here measures 5 units. Also, I know that this angle here measures 70 degrees, while this angle here measures 30 degrees, and this angle here measures 70 degrees. Now, do you think we can still say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle P, R, Q as in the last case. Now what has changed here? We know that AB is again equal to PR, 4 units each. Also we know that BC is equal to QR, 6 units each. Now here the included angle is angle ABC. Between AB and BC, these two sides, the included angle is angle ABC. What about in triangle PQR? So we have considered PR and QR. So one side is this, the other side is this. The included angle has to be this angle, angle PRQ, but we do not know the measure. We can say that ABC is equal to QPR. We can see that angle QPR. Both are 70 degrees. But again, if you see here, angle QPR is not the included angle. It is not included between QR and PR. So SAS criterion will not be applicable here. So we cannot say that these two triangles are congruent. Now we know that we can calculate the value of this particular angle, angle PRQ, by using the angle sum property of the triangle. So if this is 70, this is 30, then these two become 100 degrees and I can subtract 100 degrees from a 180 degrees, that is the sum of all these three angles, then I would have the value of angle R. It would come out to be 80 degrees. Now, is angle ABC equal to angle QRP or PRQ? It's not. Hence, by SAS, we can say that these two triangles are not congruent to each other. If 
this particular angle was 40 degrees, then then angle P R Q would have come out to be equal to 70 degrees. Then I could have said that angle A B C is equal to angle P R Q and hence by S A S congruency condition A B C and triangle P R Q are congruent. Do take care of the nomenclature of both the triangles. It's pretty important. Now there are other conditions of congruency as well. What are those? So the next condition of congruency is ASA. The ASA condition of congruency just means that if two angles are equal in two different triangles and also one of the sides is equal in those triangles then the triangles are congruent. So if we have these two triangles again ABC and PQR if we know that AC here is equal to PQ this is given to us. We are also given that this particular angle, angle A is equal to this particular angle, angle P. Also angle C is equal to angle Q. This is given to us. So we know that by ASA we can say these two triangles are congruent to each other. But again when you are writing it in your exams you would have to write in triangles ABC and PQR. We know that AC equal to PR. We also know angle A equal to angle P. Similarly angle C equal to angle Q. Hence by ASA congruency condition these two triangles are congruent. That's the way of writing it in your exams or your notebooks. Now you would notice what if we were not given angle A and angle P as equal. Rather we were given angle B equal to angle R and this condition right here wasn't present. Now in the first case we had the two angles that were formed at the two ends of the equal sides. So AC was a side, PR was a side and angle C and angle A were two angles on two ends of AC. Similarly angle Q and angle P were at two ends of PQ. In this case we do not have that. What happens now? Now we know that since C is equal to Q also angle B is equal to angle R by the angle sum property we can prove that this angle here angle A will be equal to this angle here angle P by the angle sum property and now since we have A and P as equals which are formed on the same line A, A C and here on PQ we can use the ASA again. But to simplify this we can also have an AAS condition or SAA. These both are valid. If any two angles and one side are equal to one another then I can say the two triangles are congruent to each other. Let me write down the ASA and the AAS conditions for you. So the ASA congruence rule says that two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side. So as we saw here angle A, angle C and the included side was AC of one triangle are equal to the two angles and the included side of the other triangle. So PQ and angle P and angle Q. Now this has been modified to AAS congruence rule where if in two triangles any two pairs of angles are equal. We could have angle B equal to angle R, angle C equal to angle Q and one pair of corresponding sides that is AC equal to PQ. Then both these triangles are congruent by the AAS congruency condition. I hope these conditions are clear to you. In the coming videos we will also look at some other conditions which could be useful in finding if two triangles are congruent or not. And once two triangles are congruent 
we can equate their corresponding parts. Happy learning!